How does it feel to be mayor, Tim? To tell the truth, I never thought I'd be elected. With the party behind you? How could you miss? You seem quite confident in the party. Politics is another type of a show business. We picked you because, as a young attorney, you had color. That Spencer case alone proved to me that you were a showman. Believe it or not, I took Mrs. Spencer's case against the mortgage loan syndicate because she had no money, and they were trying to take her property. That property was everything she had in the world. Well, got a lot of publicity, made you a public character, a champion of the underdog. That's what the people like. You know, a lot of people have asked me what makes me feel that I can handle the job of governor. I have common sense. It seems like our politicians have lost all their common sense. Instead of spending the money appropriately, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's time to take the taxes that it was the money was taxed for and put it to where it's supposed to be. And for an example, the gas tax. You know, there's we pay 48.66 cents per gallon now. Uh, they only use 13.75 cents of it for our roads, but they want to increase our gas tax and hide it within other proposals. And this has we have to a stop. State that's an economic disaster, and we have a broken government. I'd tone this down a bit if I were you. You don't have to make any promises now. You're elected. This stuff about cleaning up the town is all right before election, but uh, don't make any more promises. You might have to live up to them. Oh, what if I do? Oh, well, a gesture two is all right, good, even necessary. But we can't afford to antagonize the men who put us into office. However, I'll talk that over. I was born in Saginaw, Michigan. I grew up most of my life there. I can remember growing up as a kid, my mother was on welfare. So we struggled. I can remember the paper money, the plastic coins. But one thing I remember that was really good about it was this government block of cheese. It was the best cheese in the world. Oh, you done lined up for some cheese before. Oh, I done been in the line for some cheese. Oh, be in line all day. cheese make the best grilled cheese you'd have never had in your life. <laughs> That's, it was bad, but the cheese was good. <laughs> I've been in the transportation field for 30 plus years. I've driven truck all across this great country, and now I'm local in Michigan. I get up in the morning, 5 o'clock. I sit there, have my coffee for a half hour before I get ready to go to work. I drive an hour to work. I check out a truck. I work 12 to 14 hours a day. I deliver bread to the Kroger stores, S say hi to all the customers that when I'm walking through the store, uh, talk to the managers, and then at the end of the day, I park the truck, go home, and spend time with the family. Because I'm just like the majority of the people in Michigan. I, I work check to check. I struggle day to day through bills. I have my share of uh, bill collectors calling, but I still give it my all. My experience with working in transportation, I actually fell in love with driving truck. I traveled the country. I've been to 49 of the 50 states. I've seen the diversity in this country. I love meeting new people on a daily basis. Uh, I love listening to people. I'm a people watcher. <laughs> What has been done is only the beginning. I intend to smoke all these rats of political graft out into the open where they can be properly exterminated. The party put you in office and we've got no room and no time for double crosses, understand? I made no promises to your party before election. You fellows were stuck for a candidate and picked on me, figuring I could be handled afterward. Well, it's your mistake, not mine. How important is honesty in our leadership? That would be top priority. Uh, you, you can't be lying to the public. You need to be honest and tell them exactly what it is, whether it's good or bad. You have to give them the proper information. As honesty goes with myself, I don't believe in lying or deceiving to anybody. The younger generation, I believe they call it the millennium generation, 
they actually don't want to vote because they don't believe in the system. They feel that their votes don't matter and the trust is not there anymore. But that's part of what they've seen growing up and hearing from politicians telling you one thing and then they're seeing them doing something else and not keeping their words. Gorman, your party is washed up and so are you. I wouldn't hit a bunch of vultures like you for all the chop suey in China. Damn. May I suggest that you look up the vote schedules between here and Africa? Because as state's attorney, I'm going to put you out of business. Well, if I'm elected governor, everything that I tell you will be the truth. About 1.3 million families in our state will qualify for an increase in their homestead property tax credit. The way that it works is simple. You just file your tax return just like you always do. And then over the course of the next few months, we'll recalculate what the increase is for you and mail back a check by this summer. If I tell you that I'm going to lower taxes and say if I'm going to eliminate your property taxes, they will be eliminated. I'm not going to say, well, the Senate didn't want to cooperate on this. I'm going to go right to the people. But it'll be the people's vote that changes the laws, not just me. I'll just stand behind them and protect their rights. My name is Todd Schlager, and I'm running for governor for the state of Michigan.